Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test, but today we're not going to be shooting a hunting ammo. Today we're going to be shooting Hornady Critical Defense Rifle, their 155 grain FTX load out of the 308 Winchester. I'm very curious to see how this stuff does. And here's that box for the Hornady Critical Defense 155 grain FTX load for the 308 Winchester. I am very curious personally to see how this stuff will do. FTX bullets across calibers have presented some interesting results in my tests. I'm curious to see how they'll do out of a more powerful rifle load like the 308 Winchester. And here's your promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. But I'm going to go ahead and read this top part. Designed for personal defense situations, Critical Defense Rifle delivers rapid expansion for reduced potential of overpenetration. So that's sort of what we're going to be testing this ammo against. Does it deliver on this claim? And flipping it around to the velocity chart, we're looking at a muzzle velocity stated of 2,785 feet per second. It'll be interesting to see how close we get to that out of the 22-inch barrel of my roof. Ruger American. And I would sort of think that this ammo would be more tuned for a semi-automatic rifle because of what it is. So it'll be interesting to see what it does out of a 22 inch barrel bolt action, pulling it out. Good looking stuff, nickel plated brass cases. You've got your rubberized flex tip there, nice and blunt, should expand really nicely. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tailed deer design. And check out my brand new website, masonoutdoors.com or my Amazon storefront, where you can get all my favorite range gear and outdoor equipment. Everything you see, I personally use and can recommend with confidence. And every purchase helps me bring you more YouTube videos. Videos. Links are in the video description and the pinned comment. Now, back to the video. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for the Hornady Critical Defense 155 grain FTX load out of the 308. We had a minimum of 2740, a max of 2751 for an average of 2745. And we'll get more in depth with velocity here in a second. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Critical Defense 155 grain FTX load out of the 308 Winchester. And I am very pleased with the performance of this load. I am floored by it. It did excellent. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go over it penetration wise. We've got two right here at 18 inches and there's one right down there at the 17 inch mark. Now remember this ammunition states that it's not supposed to over penetrate and I think this is about perfect for something like a defensive load out of a 308 Winchester. This is really good. They stopped before they went any further. It looks like they expanded and held together really well for the most part. Coming on back to the first block, we did get some fragmentation. Not surprising being that these are a defensive Defensive load with a flex tip in them. And as far as wound cavity goes, these things start to expand very rapidly before the one inch mark. They really blow up right here and come on back, come on back and close off by about the eight to nine inch mark. But this is what you would want, I think, from a defensive load. Massive upfront trauma, shallow, relatively shallow and then tapering off before it goes too deep and then the bullets stopping before they go much past about this point. I think these performed absolutely incredible. 
as per what they are supposed to do. Now, one other thing I wanna show you with this load, and I don't usually do this because I have a whole other series where I show three shot groups with all the kinds of ammo that I test. Every time I shoot one of these different kinds of ammo from my position, which is way up there, the first thing I do is I'll fire two or three shots back at my target board just to see where the different ammo is going compared to the zero of my rifle. So I was aiming here with these loads and I hit boom, boom, boom with three shots. Y'all, that is a half inch group from this Hornady Critical Defense 155 grain FTX load out of the 308. Absolutely incredible. All right, y'all, we've got those critical defense bullets pulled out of the gel. Let's take a look at them and go over the metrics. First, we'll hit weight retention. We saw 82, 89, and 91 grains respectively for an average of 87 grains retained weight. That works out to 49% weight retention, and that is excellent performance for what these bullets are designed to do, which is minimize penetration and break up for the most part on impact. This stuff is called critical defense for a reason. It's not a hunting ammo, it's a defensive ammo. Something you might use indoors where you don't want something going through walls, going through the target it's intended for and into something else. So you don't wanna see massive weight retention and thus penetration. It did really good. And then onto expansion, we saw 0 0.6, 0 0.71, and 0.76 inches respectively for an average of 0.69 inches expanded diameter, and that's 2.2x expansion. And just take a look at the photo of these bullets. These things are pretty nasty. They expanded pretty good and also shed a good amount of their weight to limit that penetration, but still have something that's substantial size to punch through what they need to. So all in all, so far, these things are doing really good for what they're designed for. Now onto velocity. Our high velocity was 2751, our low was 2740, for an average of 2746, that's only an 11 foot per second spread, very consistent. Now that's versus the factory build velocity of 2785, so 39 feet per second slow. I've seen a lot worse than that. But interestingly, and this is thinking outside of the box a little, we're using a 22 inch barreled hunting rifle to test this stuff, right? With this kind of ammo, critical defense, you know, defensive type use, you're not hunting with the stuff typically, you're probably not using a 22 inch barreled hunting rifle. You're probably gonna be using an 18 inch barrel or a 16 inch barreled rifle of various makes with this kind of ammo for what it is intended for. So that it's 39 feet per second slow with a barrel that's probably longer than what you'd be using this stuff for in is interesting. But all in all, this is meant for close range work, you know, the velocity is the last thing I'm really worried about. And real quick, let's talk about impact velocity. So how fast were these bullets going at 100 yards when they impacted the target? Now I use a formula to come up with this. I don't have a chronograph down at 100 yards, but it should be pretty darn close. And the impact velocity is about 2,554 feet per second at 100 yards. And that's just something else to know. And now onto penetration. We saw 17 inches, 18 inches, and 18 inches for an average of about 18 inches of penetration. And that's about what you would wanna see from this stuff. It's not meant to over penetrate, it's meant to stop. You don't want it going through walls like we talked about earlier. This is a defensive ammo. Honestly, I wish it would have penetrated a bit less than this even and expanded a bit more. But I think all in all, this stuff is gonna do what you need it to if you know what I'm saying. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance, of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, so my final thoughts on the 155 grain Hornady critical defense load out of the 308. that's the flex tip bullet. For what this stuff is designed to do, which is defensive use, possibly indoor use, limited penetration, I think it did excellent. The one place that personally, this is just for me, that I wish I would have seen something different is a little bit more expansion and a little less penetration. But being that it's a 308 Winchester, I mean, this is a heavy caliber for defensive use. I can't say I'm disappointed with what it did. I think it did excellent. Now, would I use this stuff for hunting? Not really, it's not meant for that. You could, based on the metrics that we saw, it would definitely put down a deer or a hog or something like that, especially smaller ones, especially at closer range. We can take advantage of that expansion and weight dump and limited penetration. If you're in like more of a, 
I don't know, you're a situation where you're out on the farm, you've got other properties around you and you want to, you know, have something that is limited penetration just in case, this could be an option for you. And I don't think you'd really be undergunned in a lot of circumstances. Now, I wouldn't take a shoulder shot on a 250 pound boar with this stuff, but I can see some limited use in the hunting arena for this ammo, even though that's not what it's intended for. What do you think about this ammo? Have you used it? Have you hunted with it? What was your experience? Let us know down in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.